Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Car Simulator uh, 2018 and we are in my garage uh, I haven't taken any like any order now I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of this uh, small garage I know I did it in the previous video I'm gonna be leaving links for you in the description so well uh, this is I think uh, that's my computer my old computer we have a toolbox and then we have uh, this thing uh, engine stand okay um, toolbox again and then we have uh, oil drainer and then we have the lift a I think I'm gonna be upgrading uh, this garage soon we have a toolbox again and we have a little bit of uh, dropped frame rates and we have a spring cooler that's for the shock absorbers and we have what a tire changer we have we can use this to remove uh, what the tire from the rims blah 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 and then there's a wheel balancer so i'm gonna start off uh, by what's this uh this is not activated yet yet <laughs> so i'm gonna be taking orders let me see uh we have a bolt uh let's see what's the problem transmission not responding fix find and fix all gearbox problems okay uh it looks like a nice car on uh, an old school car does look good uh, we have the royal crown i bought this car um, um hmm. a long story here job description the, the problem is that it's very difficult to shift through the gears and sometimes uh sometimes things sometimes some things bang on the left side i'm sure that's a, the, a shock absorber on the right side too check the general condition of the car the wheel the the car and repair whatever you find broken the dealer ensure me that everything is uh, nearly brand new so uh, let me just check uh, the other cars uh, gear gears keep skipping mm, I, i'm thinking that the clutch plate uh, we have the door drum a nice big pickup uh, lack of engine power cannot start the car uh, fixed suspension clanks and rattles sloppy car steering wheel okay uh, we have a uh, bolt again controlling car uh, feels loose um suspension brake problems the car is loud as well okay that's the of course that's the what we do call it exhaust <coughs> and then we have this jeep an old school jeep uh, brakes problem uh, repair all gearbox uh, faults grinding and shaking from the gearbox oh look at that wow that looks good that car looks good lack of engine power uh, general engine control um, so i'm gonna be going i think things things are changing uh, well, like i'm gonna be taking what where is the where is the where is the big car i'm gonna be taking i think i'm gonna be taking the royal crown it's a hundred percent repair uh, with minimal pad, minimal parts condition uh, 100 okay i'm gonna be taking the order but we have to like diagnose what the what to find out what the problem is so uh this is the car it looks like a maserati uh, that logo uh, wow uh, uh not everything looks new we have uh, i can see that this uh the gearbox has a problem um hmm we have uh, the front drive shaft looks uh, troublesome we have the gear steering back looks bad uh, what's this uh, front drive axle it's so wrong it doesn't look so bad I, I, I thought he said like everything is near 100 percent no in a road tire no 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 it does it does look a little bad so we're gonna be taking the car let me just get all of this engine we're gonna be uh, moving the car to lift a where is it lift a oh where is it oh there we go oh uh, there's the car nice car nice really really nice car but i wanted to do some testing on it first uh, let me see we can move the car to what test path test path and uh, see what uh, really the problem is because we have a lot of uh, things that uh, not discovered and this is my test path it's a uh, some part of the like another section of the garage where we can test the suspension uh, what else i think uh, the suspension yeah uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see so let's do are you sure you want to proceed yes i want of course i want to proceed 
There we go. The brakes, the condition of the brakes, accelerate. Yes. Thank you. Oh, it looks nice. Uh, press and hold the brakes, okay? I'm pressing. Now oh, the brakes, the front brakes, the left, uh, right front brakes. Accelerate again. The rear, we are testing the rear brakes. Results, please. There we go. They're not bad. Um, the average at 43%. That's the suspensions. Uh, we are testing out the suspension. The front suspension seems to be okay. And then the rear suspension. So we have a lot of things brake caliper, rear suspension, brake pads, brake pads. Oh my god, all these things have to like replace them. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking getting out of the car. There we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, take it to the lift A, move the car to lift A. Where is it? And then uh, try and repair it so first of all uh, i saw that we have a problem with this transmission actually let me let me just check something please uh just cast it as we have a lot of uh, parts uh, not discovered i'm sure that is uh there well we have a lot of things to repair so uh, let's get started to save time we're gonna start off with one mm -hmm. it seems that uh, i want to access this engine box we have the starter we can remove the starter first from the engine bay. There we go. There we go. And then um, get out, uh, lift the car. There we go. So that we can access the brakes, uh, the steering the steering rod, the suspension also, mm -hmm. and the gearbox. We're gonna be removing the tires um, as quickly as possible. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Uh, the brake caliper. There's always a procedure on on what you're supposed to be doing. You cannot just remove everything. And then we have uh, this. There's something here. Uh, front drive axle. Yes. It does really look bad. Uh, we have the front shaft. Um, hmm. This looks bad. The steering rod. Inner steering rod. Mm -hmm. remove that and then now we're gonna remove the inner steering rod uh, the steering rack also we have to remove it um, hmm. let me see that thing seems to be in a serious condition here but at the back do you look just look at the back there's a lot of problems let me just uh, zoom in a little bit uh, we have oh my god we have a lot of problems here Okay, the angle in this uh, came, it's actually really, really crazy. We have this uh, shock absorber, we can remove it, actually it's in a really, really bad condition. <laughs> and then we have uh, one, and then this one, this thing, this thing, what do we call? Rear suspension arm, together with the rubber brushings, I'm gonna be removing them. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, don't re we really. I have just discovered that we don't really have to remove the tire. But we have uh, the brake pad. It does look bad, 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 bad. What about this? Uh, we have to remove the rear tire. So let's just finish up with the front uh, and then access, uh, go to the back. And all this. And that, and that, and that. Really fast because we have limited time. And that, and the brake pad. Thank you. Disc brake. What's this? Uh, front knuckle cover. Um, yeah, it does look bad. Gonna remove the front shaft drive. And then we're gonna remove uh, the front shaft. And then the gearbox also. It does look bad. It does look bad. There we go. All the screws. Thank you. Oh my god, the clutch plate. Oh my god so rusty now the good thing about this game is just that you have to examine the things uh, the the parts 
like visually if they are a bit rusty too much rust means there's a problem oh my god look at this it's brown in color that's not good okay we did remove the transmission and then we have to remove this uh, what we call it uh, the front knuckle cover uh, we need to remove the lower arm suspension there we go there we go there we go done and then remove what what's next about oh, this mm -hmm. the inner tire rod gone and steering rack gone so what next uh we have to remove the suspension and also the what the sway bar thank you here we go removed removed actually i'm not a mechanic i don't know these <laughs> parts uh the, actually the game has a way of like guiding you on what to remove and what not to remove there's something inside here there we go what is it yeah uh, there we go we'll have removed um front wheel hub thank you remote 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 and then the front shot oh my god that steering knuckle gone okay and then we had the radiator but we're gonna be removing that uh, in the in engine bay so let's go to the back or we, we can just uh, finish up the front okay we're gonna change to assembly just a minute so we're gonna be changing to assembly and assemble things as we remove them. So we have the front, uh, what we call front steering knuckle. We have a good one in good condition, a brand new one. Uh, front axle, we don't have, we got access the, uh, what do we, what's it called? Front axle knuckle cover. We're gonna access the tablet and uh, buy one from the shop. What do you call? Oh, sorry about that. Um, hmm. Go home, and then the main shop. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, we have the brakes. I think it's a suspension. No, it's a suspension. Yeah, here we go. Cover. We're gonna buy around four or five. I should like buying them in like in bulk, so that you can just change everything. You don't have to go back every time we change it and then the front knuckle thank you close up everything close up everything uh, the front ventilator brakes you see we have a lot of them uh, new brakes I just buy them in bulk I like buying them in bulk and then we have the brake pads brand new uh, what we call brake caliper brand new everything brand new and then we close those bolts and then we have this steering track i don't think we have uh, one in the store so we have to buy one now oh, steering rack let's do this as fast as possible uh, steering rack yeah here we go we're gonna buy around five <laughs> for the future order sorry and then we're gonna go back to the garage and install it brand new 100 percent uh, in a tire rod, I think we have several of them. There we go. Nice. Uh, outer tire rod, yes, we have a lot, like brand new ones. And then the lower suspension arm, we have new. Okay, this one is used. Rubber brushing. And then rubber brushing. Okay, good. Can I install them. Screw them up. Tight. Nice and tight. Uh, rear front uh, shock absorber. It's, I think it's in a good condition. We're gonna be installing the previous one, which was there before. And then we have the tire, the sway bar, sorry. Uh, brand new. We have a lot of them in the store. There we go. Uh, and then we have the flywheel. I think we have several. Yes, we have one extra. Thank you. And then we have uh, the clutch plate. And then the clutch pressure plate. Brand new one. Everything is new and if you look carefully you gotta see that we have like the brand new ones are shiny and the old one all the old and not in good condition actually very rusty and then we are well, we have the bearing installed it now the gearbox we don't have one in the store because they're actually expensive so i have to run to the shop and buy a gearbox uh, number 14 
Yeah, box 14, uh, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, there we go, there it is. I'm not gonna be buying two. <laughs> uh, not in bulk this time, sorry. There we go, a new uh, gearbox for the car. Yeah, this guy is gonna pay a lot of money for my repairs, all the repairs that I've done in this car. Front drive shaft, uh, it's not in good condition, so run to the shop again. Uh, front drive shaft, where is it? 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 Oh, there we go. Is it? Is it that? No. Wait. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. Because uh, this is a thing that it's like uh, many cars have it. Actually, have to have it. I'm gonna be buying five for nearly a thousand dollars. Close to a thousand dollars. Oh no, we bought the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna run to the shop again. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. Um, drive shaft F, okay, they have a little bit of letters on them. Just want to the drive shaft. What's this? Wait, what are we looking for again? Uh, front drive shaft, oh, drive shaft, sorry. <laughs> front, front drive shaft. Uh, go to assembly, front drive shot to the shop, and let's see, front, how to type it, mm -hmm. front drive shaft, front drive shaft, wow, you don't tell me you don't have one, or am I not seeing it, oh my god, we, we don't have one, Okay, let me just write the whole word. The whole word drive shaft. Front drive shaft. Here we go. We're gonna buy five of them. I think I bought the wrong item at the first time. So we're gonna be buying five. Thank you. And then assemble it. Front drive shaft. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, what else on this side? We have uh, this bearing. Install it, a new one. Thank you. And then we have the front drive axle. C. Okay, we don't have any one any in the store. We're gonna be buying five because we need another one on the other side of the car. So, uh, what what are they called again? <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> front drive axle. Um, hmm. let me just check, uh, front drive axle, what, that's it, okay, let me just go back a little bit to confirm it, it's a C, front axle C, C, where is it, where is it, oh, there we go, front axle drive C, you're gonna be buying for them, the price of, uh, $280, uh, we're gonna be installing it front drive axle C as fast as possible and then wait 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 wait, wait. let me just confirm if everything is uh, back to where it's supposed to be uh, I think uh, everything is good on this side uh, yeah I think everything is good you have to check sometimes it just miss on small small things uh, we're gonna be installing the previous uh, tires and we are done on the what this was on the left side of the car we have to run to the right side of the car and then uh, install everything that we removed and we're gonna start off with the front drive axle brand new and then with the bre bricks ventilated bricks we have so many in the store brake pads brand new everything brand new brake caliper brand new oh no okay this one is not brand new 82 percent okay <laughs> it's two percent not new okay that's installed and then we have what i think i'm forgetting something oh there we go in a tire road we bought some oh my god in a tire road we didn't buy many okay in a tire road Oh my god, we just bought one. Okay. We're gonna be buying five at $30 each. Five, six. Okay, our next one doesn't, our next one doesn't hurt. Let's go back to the garage and install uh, the inner tire rod. 
Oh, there we go. Ultra tire rod. Oh, brand new. We have a lot in the stall. And then uh, let me just check everything if everything is back to where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think we're down there. In case of anything, we miss out on anything, it's gonna warn us if we miss out on anything, which is not good to miss out on anything. So we are done with the right side, we're gonna be going back to the rear side of the car because I, yeah, I did see that we have a lot of problems here. From the brake pads, look at that brake pad, oh my god. The disc brake it doesn't look so good. Uh, we have that 10%. Oh, that's really bad. Even the rear, rear will have three. It's not in really good uh, condition. It doesn't look so good. And, and as I, I said, like, um, you have to use uh, the visual uh, aspect of this game to just uh, check the condition of these uh, things. We have to remove the bearing first, and then the rear will have. There we go as fast as possible and then we remove the wheel hub. Okay, even this knuckle doesn't look so good, we're so close. Uh, even the rear suspension arm doesn't look so good. We're we'll removing that and that and replacing the rear of it. Oh, we have to remove the uh, suspension arm A. Okay, first of all, we need to remove the suspension. The rear suspension, okay. So let's start with the cup, the spring, and then the co the cross chamber. There we go, and then the suspension arm. Thank you. There we go. I want to access uh, the rear axle knuckle, but you have to remove the suspension arms first, the upper and the lower side. Uh, no, we're not done. Uh, rubber brushing. These are some of the things that you might forget to like return them. The rubber brushings and then I want to remove the rear sway bar. But we have to have access on this other side. Let me just check if we can have access to this side. Okay. The checking ah uh, the angles are not that good. So I want to remove this, but we have to access what? The suspension, I think. I don't know. We have the, this, the sway bar, and we have to remove the tire. Okay, good. So I want to like get down with this side. Okay, no, 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 no. We have to remove uh, the sway bar first. Oh, I'm gonna remove this first. The screw out, 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 everyone out, 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 out. There we go. Uh, the brake caliper. Thank you. As fast as possible. Uh, the brake pads. The pads are in really bad, 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 bad condition. And then I'm gonna be accessing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. This, the sway bar, rear end link. Remove that. And then we can have access to this, the sway bar. We are done. So if we check, uh, let me see. Oh, we have something rusty here. Okay. Uh, not that rusty. I think everything uh, is good. On this side so if we check on um, the car like report I think we discovered nearly everything yeah we discovered everything everything is discovered we have just to replace everything that we have taken off uh, with the in which which are in a bad state so we're gonna start off with the rear wheel hub and uh, not the new one actually we're, we're just reusing it we don't have the the rear sway bar so we have to go and buy it. Let me just uh, check. Uh, I'm gonna be buying these also. Like several of them, like five. And uh, sorry, but A, wait. Is it A or B? I told you I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> so I have to uh, check, confirm everything. It's A, thank you. So we're gonna be taking the A, like five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Done. I'm gonna be hear hearing a little bit of clicks from my mouse. And uh, we're gonna be replacing that. And uh, let me see, we have uh, this thing here. It's called what, end link? Yes, brand new. Thank you. And we're done with the rear wheel. I'm gonna be replacing with them with the new disc brakes. 
brake pads also and uh, brake caliper not brand new actually a little bit old oh, there we go oh, nice and then the rear wheel and we are done with the rear part the best thing about this game is that you can just do everything at like in a step way like in a progress way so we are at the back we have uh, this knuckle rear axle knuckle it's really in a bad condition we have to buy another one it's rear knuckle housing a okay tablet knuckle is that a spelling <laughs> a uh, front uh, no 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 not the front it's uh, the rear sorry rear knuckle axle housing a gonna be buying two so they're actually a hundred and ten dollars uh, we have money actually we have fifteen thousand dollars so we can buy a lot of uh, these uh, things in bulk and then we have the suspension uh, the rear suspension arm we're gonna be combining it with the rubber brushing and small rubber black <laughs> small rubber brushing yes confirm install install and then we have this uh, rear shock absorber i don't think we have uh, several in the store we don't so i'm gonna be buying the rear shock absorber a tablet shock A. Uh, rear shock absorber. A. Rear shock absorber. A. We're gonna be buying two. Or oh, three. Three is okay. Uh, thank you. I'm um, gonna be installing it. There it is. Screw it up. And end link. We have several of them in the store. Brand new. We're gonna be using them. And then we'll have. I don't think we have one. <laughs> Sorry. We have. A, this car actually did. I uh, have a lot of things to, to like replace especially on the wheels uh, was it three was it three or two I think it was two let me just call them let me just, let me just buy three <laughs> okay it was three we're gonna be buying several of these for five four hundred dollars okay that was a weird one okay uh what what else rear hub install brand new thank you as fast as possible and then a break disc brand new uh what the bearing don't forget to install the bearing and also we have the rear suspension arm oh my god it's a, it's in a really bad state rear suspension arm and go to the shop and buy suspension suspension arm where is it where is it where is it rear suspension arm a is it a or b rear suspension upper arm is this gonna be buying two or three three it's okay there we go and install uh, remember we have some rubber brushings don't forget this don't ever forget of, oh my god it's so bad rubber brushing we have to buy several of them actually shall we buy in bulk rubber rubber brushing we're gonna be buying around 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10 for 150 dollars thank you uh, it's good to have them uh like lying in the store i'm gonna show you my inventory and you're gonna see what i have small rubber brushing oh my god rear suspension of a b plus small rubber brushing plus yeah you see the rubber brushing are used a lot so it's nice to have several of them laying around so we're gonna be replacing replacing the rear suspension a b um b <laughs> i have to confirm that uh suspension rear suspension b rear suspension b where is it where is it rear sus suspension b rear suspension b thank you we're gonna be buying three actually there are 
they're not that expensive 195 dollars gonna place in this that and that and that with a small rubber brushing thank you there we go and we are close to finish up uh, assembling this car uh, hmm. let me just check oh, another rubber brushing small one you see we have several of them lying around suspension a oh my god even suspension a okay thank you where is a rear suspension a we're gonna be buying three there we go nice and easy and three install the bolts up and then the suspension spring cup thank you the spring they're actually not in a really bad state 61% is not bad and then what else I think at the back we are done the rubber brushing are done are done are done are done are done yes we're done so we're done at the rear okay thank you uh, brake caliper okay they're not direct, they're not in a good condition but I'm gonna be installing them there we go and then what else then how will hub cup and then the tire there we go we are done we are close to finishing up the car so if you check uh, the status of the car everything seems to be green except the radiator fan which we need to assemble it uh, in the engine bay so we're gonna run to the engine bay lower the car first there we go nice and easy and uh, also we remember that we remove the starter so that you can access uh, this so I'm gonna be uh, assembling that it's not brand new it wasn't in a bad condition so we're gonna be assembling that and then uh, remove this uh, the housing everything but the radiator it's so bad it's in a bad state uh, what's this small intercooler let's see if there's a problem with it or we can only access it under the car okay thank you so we're gonna install the radiator radiator a actually it's not in it's not in a bad condition actually so we're gonna be wait just a minute let me see radiator fun housing radiator fun housing fun okay so it's just the housing that has a problem the good thing we have uh, several but we don't have the fun radiator fun okay <laughs> so we're gonna go to the shop and buy radiator sorry cups off radiator 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 fun uh housing housing wait what what am i buying <laughs> Oh, it's a radiator what radiator fan housing fan it's a fan okay let me just check radiator fan fan housing I'm gonna be buying four like four of them uh, and then we are done with this car actually it took a lot of time to repair it this is what the mechanics go through <laughs> in every day like troubleshooting a car where is the problem where is the problem where is the problem where is the problem now if you check uh, the the uh, we have like replaced everything that had a problem from the sway bar brake pads everything sorry rack everything gearbox blah 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 and the amount he is supposed to pay is uh, seven thousand seven hundred and thirty wow okay so we're gonna close up the car there we go and uh finish the order finish thank you so with that guys thank you for watching and uh i hope to see you in the next video peace